Can I give you something else to enthuse you? Sure. There is a campaigning organisation in Australia with a million members. I think it's a million members. Uh, certainly a million people that, uh, that follow follow it. Um, which uh, Stephanie has been providing some help to and Rohan. And uh, I'm a media spokesman for some of what they talk about. It's called Get Up. And recently it launched a big campaign. And it's so influential that the government in Australia is scared by it, Get Up. Uh, they have talked about changing the law to try and reclassify it as an organisation to make it more difficult financially for it to continue operating. The Business Council of Australia, which is the sort of rich pressure group, are trying to raise funds at the moment, a multiple of the amount of funding GetUp has in order to fight GetUp's campaigns. And the first plank in GetUp's new campaign, it's called Future to Fight For, is a job guarantee. And then there's lots of other things that we would approve of in dealing with homelessness and all sorts of other issues. Uh, and then at the bottom, it's how to pay for it. It basically explains modern monetary theory. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, I have actually, you, you, I believe you turned me on to get up first. And then um, I heard through Rohan about how you know, this was going on. And then I remember when, uh, before we went live, uh, when I had uh, Bill Mitchell and Stephanie on with me, uh, offline they were talking about you know get up as well so you know it's it's obviously doing some tremendous stuff down there hopefully real progressives can take a page out of their book and and well, you're you're, 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 pro you're probably more influential in 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 in, in some ways but uh, the great thing about get up is that the people who follow them are disproportionately younger wow. um, uh, and and uh, it's Rohan's work was, has been great with them. Uh, Edward Miller is their uh, head of campaigns, who, uh, um, like you, like yourself, is a, a, a great presenter online in videos. Stephanie is coming over later in the year to Australia as part of this campaign. Um, I hope we see her on mainstream TV over here, not just uh, not on podcast, but uh, on the sort of thing that millions of people watch. And well, I hope people get to hear I, what she's talking about. I definitely want to find a way to reach out to them, talk to them, like maybe off camera, and just get mm -hmm. a feel for what they're doing, some of the ideas they're having, because I really want to be able to incorporate some of this. You know, we have various things. I mean, you, you've heard my speech about what Real Progressives is before. Mm -hmm. It's a bold, it's a bold vision. It is. It's a huge vision. Mm -hmm. And on the back end of this, you know, it's like. It's all I can do to keep us from jumping out there and just doing things because mm. just doing things sometimes it, it, it bleeds energy away from focused campaigns, being able to do real sustainable you know, drives to, to really have you know, piece by piece laying it down so that people have a clear, unequivocal notion of where you're trying to get to. And then mm. and, and there's an actual fallout if you don't do this. Mm. Um, unfortunately, most of what you see in the United States is kind of like pop music. It's it's a two minute song. As long as it can get radio play, it's happy for a minute, and then after maybe twelve weeks of staying on the top, whatever, it's gone, and you never hear about it. And then twenty years later, the uh, watch some video about where are they now? You know, I want to be sustained. I don't want to you know be pop culture. I would rather build slow and really, really make it substantive. And it seems like the stuff that they're doing is creating enough pressure that people are paying attention and people are listening. We need to have... But in a sense, you're in the lead in the U.S. I think the U.S. is going to have a job guarantee first. Very good. And I think we'll, I think we'll copy you. That's what usually happens. Australia usually copies what the U.S. does <laughs> a while later. And I think as far as a job guarantee is concerned, it's, it's also another great thing about it is that when you have a successful job guarantee in place people are going to be interested in whose idea it was they're, they're going to be interested in stephanie kelton they're going to be interested in pavlina cheneva they're going to be interested in scott fulweiler they're going to be interested in fadel kaboob they're going to look behind those guys as well and they'll be interested in people like warren mosler and bill mitchell and randall ray and it's a great opportunity progressively over time to change the discourse it's not going to happen overnight and I think when these things happen, 
and I uh, maybe I'm naive, but I have confidence that they will happen. I think you will have a small part in the history of the US, Steve, you personally, because I think the real progressive side has linked up so many people and it's been so encouraging for academics like, like Stephanie Kelton and, and the others uh, who sometimes would have felt themselves plowing a, uh, a lonely furrow in the past. You're doing a great job and all, all the volunteers that work with you are doing a great job, just as the guys are in Get Up over here and uh, in other countries too. There are, there are some wonderful activists in the UK and that I, ha I happen to know because they're in the UK and because I'm English and, uh, and in the rest of the world as well. And this is going to be a global movement, but it, it's going to, it is taking time. Uh, I remember, was it Randall Ray said that when Warren Mose the first came up with MMT, he thought he'd just, maybe, because it's right, that he'd just go and talk to these economists about it and they'd listen. They're scientists after all. They'd want to know if you're explaining they've sort of got the monetary system wrong and, and that there's a much greater uh, um, freedom for governments to act and responsibilities that governments ought to take uh, than, than they are at the moment. And he just came up against that wall of silence, didn't get anywhere. And for a long time, there were just a handful of modern monetary theories, so such a small handful that you and I know them all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and it's turned into what it is now already. Uh, it, it, and maybe it's unstoppable.